Hey, let's turn this Amazon wig into Gabi Maru from Hell's Paradise. Let's start by steaming out all of the body and the shape that's naturally in the wig. That way we have a blank canvas to start with. Next up, crimping the wig. Crimping the wig will give texture into the fibers and while we style, it's much easier to shape and for it to stick together. But first, we've got to section out parts of the hair so we can crimp it a lot easier. Let's go. So as you can see, I've sectioned off a lot of the hair so it's out of the way. We're just gonna try and isolate one weft at a time so we can crimp it. If you try and crimp too much hair at once, it just doesn't really work. So I'm gonna grab the crimper, warm it up, and then get started on this one weft. Another thing to mention, if your wig is synthetic and it's on the cheaper side of synthetic, too much heat can actually melt the fibers. I always do like a small little section to test it. All right, I think it's warmed up, so let's do a little test section. And another little hack is to use one of these to help avoid burning your fingers, because this thing gets pretty hot. All right, so it does look like the fibers can withstand the heat, so that's a good thing. And it looks like there's texture in the fibers, which is also what we want. Now we just have to do the whole wig, weft by weft, until we've got the whole thing done. And then it's gonna look crazy, like Super Saiyan just got struck by lightning, but that's what we're going for. Another trick is I use this teasing brush, and after you've gotten the crimp, I'll grab the teasing brush and kind of pull all of the fibers apart. So instead of just one perfect row of all those waves, you're kind of separating the waves. So some waves are like this and that and this and that. and that. So they're all kind of sporadic. It helps the fibers stick together, which will make the styling process a lot easier. See, what did I tell you, right? Super Saiyan struck by lightning. That's what I think it looks like anyways. All right, for this next step, we're gonna be using lots of got to be glued, as well as a hair dryer, a teasing brush, and some scissors to get these anime spikes. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to section the sides out, the sideburns, and I usually start with the front of the wig. That way I can get a general composition and it gives me a good place to start with so I can kind of base the rest of the style off of the front, if that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna work on this as the first spike and it actually is a sideburn that's very close to his cheekbone and it actually doesn't have this gap. So if we get it to stick on here just a little bit, it will actually help hold it into position and will probably help us get that right spike. So I'm gonna get the got to be glued and uh, the hair dryer. You always wanna use warm setting on your hair dryer and not too much power. So I'm gonna try and isolate just this spike and then we're gonna hit it lightly with a little hairspray. I'm gonna roughly shape it and give it the right direction. Like so, I'm gonna give it a little bit more hairspray. And then we'll use the hair dryer to lock it into its shape and direction. All right, and we want it to come to more of a point, so I'm going to kind of break this part up and then hit just this end with some hairspray. And then for a little bit more precision, I'm going to use this to bring it to a point. So once you've got it kind of sticking together where you want it, 
and we'll hit it with some more heat. A lot of times I'll use my fingers to hold it and start from the top and form it as I go down. Like so. And that's a pretty nice, strong little sideburn now. So this sideburn is gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna cut it first um, a little shorter because it's actually going to stop about there. And I see a lot of people just cut right across. Don't do that. Do as close to straight cuts in the fibers as possible. And this helps give it a natural gradient instead of just that really harsh, hard line. Let's pull it in the right direction. All right, let's give it some spray. All right, that's not bad. Let's work on this tip now. All right, well, that's a good tip. So we'll move on to the other side and we'll do the same thing, one longer and one shorter. All right, so I've got both of these spikes and in comparison, it's not perfect, but it's pretty even if here's the edge of the eye. We've got just a little bit of gap. Here's the edge of the eye, just a little bit of gap. So now I'll start working on the edges and then eventually get to the very center and the area above the forehead. And there's a good amount of hair that is used directly in the center of the forehead area. So I'm going to go ahead and section that off to make sure I've got plenty of hair to work with. And then this will be the hair that we work on the side spike. I think I'm going to use two spikes um, from this base. So he has one section that's going down and then another section that's going across here. So let's break that up. Yeah, something like that. So we'll get this out of the way for now. And then I think I'll end up using another area over here to do one more spike. There's more directional spikes on this side of the wig. And yeah, that actually looks really good. Short, medium, long, All right? Perfect. Now we can use this hair to kind of obscure the eye here a little bit. I'm looking at a reference. There is a couple long pieces that go kind of down and in front of the eye, almost like that. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, we're gonna want a little bit more extreme curvage right here, kind of like that. So I think I'll break it up starting here and then do this half of the section. And I think I'll go ahead and stick it to the hair beneath it as well. So this time I'll hold it in the position I want it to dry in and then hit it with heat. That looks pretty good. So let's get the center now. So I think the lowest layer actually curves like that. And I think I'll do two spikes that curve this direction. All right, so now we got the front of our wig and always work on the lower layers first because this next layer is gonna go on top of it and hiding some of this. So we're gonna start doing that 
and we're basically gonna keep the um, techniques that we've been using and uh, keep going through the wig there's a good start so let's keep going and I'm gonna time lapse this part so it's not so long so let's go All right, and here is the finished product. The spikes look great. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Here's a little before and after. It made a huge difference. I love how this turned out. So I'm gonna try it on here, and my mannequin head isn't the exact same as my skull. So there's probably gonna be some differences, like these sideburns don't fit down flush. So here's another little trick. If I have long sideburns, will hit my cheek with some hairspray and then blow dry it to where it dries to my cheek and then i'll add some more hairspray and blow dry that so it kind of holds that position a little bit better but it kind of resets once you put it back on a mannequin hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and learned a few things if you make any cool wigs i'd love to see them so definitely tag me in them and if you're interested in how i made these gabi maru shoes i'll be making an instagram post soon so definitely check that out Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.